I have found a new favorite way to do my hair. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, happy 2024. I intentionally took all of January off because I'm really trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together with the schedule so we can be back consistently with new videos every single Friday. I'm really, really working on it. Do I have it 100% figured out? No, but we're getting there. I have missed y'all so much. I'm so excited for our first video of the new year because this is like a full circle moment. So I'm currently in Cayman. I'm at my parents' house right now in their bathroom and this is literally where I started my channel. It's so cute. So I thought we have to do a wash and go video while I'm here in the OG bathroom where it all started. We'll kind of just chit chat about my natural hair journey and kind of where I'm at with my hair right now. Last couple of washes when my hair was a lot shorter, I was focused really on getting lots of volume so my hair could be up and stuff. But at this length, it has kind of like dropped. I always, I always talk about the drop because my hair grows up first before it then drops and grows down and we're officially at the length where it has dropped. For this trip, I was like, I want my hair to last as long as possible. And this is day eight, bro. Day eight, zero refresh. I mean, zero. My It's a little crimped in the front because I had my hair up in a little pineapple. Well, poof, actually, a high poof the last couple of nights, but do y'all see these curls? Zero refresh. So we're gonna recreate this wash, okay? For my girlies who like a wash ago to last you a full week, and if you like lots of high, high def curl definition, then you're gonna love this wash and we about to get into it. Let's get this party started. All right, so who remembers this backdrop? <laughs> this was way back at the beginning of my natural hair journey. I'm talking diva curl era. I'm talking, I never used to use shampoo. Like those were the times. <laughs> oh my gosh, like literally our first few videos together. We're literally in here. It's just so crazy to be here now and there's like a community of over 60,000 of you right here. And I just, crazy it's crazy and i love y'all so much so let me start by telling you what i did in my last wash that brought us here for day nine day eight whatever it is and then i'm going to tell you what we're using a little bit different today because i wasn't able to fully travel with like everything all the exact products i used last time i used my briogeo charcoal shampoo then i deep conditioned with the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask still favorite then to style i actually paired the briogeo gel so like i put that on first and then on top, I used my favorite mousse, the Dew Mousse Death Foam Styler. Top two stylers of all time. I don't know why it took me so long to try a wash with them together, but mind blowing, amazing. Today, I'm still aiming to recreate it, but I don't have the Dew Mousse Death with me. And I also don't have the charcoal shampoo. So here's my plan. I'm gonna still keep the wash products Briogeo because y'all already know. But instead of the charcoal shampoo, I'm gonna use their super moisture shampoo. And then I'm gonna use a mixture of the regular Don't Spare Repair conditioner. This is as much as I could carry. And you know, we can all laugh together because that's not much conditioner to use for a lot of curly hair. So I'm probably gonna mix this with a little bit of the actual Don't Despair repair deep conditioning mask. And then to style, I do have my Rio Geo gel, which I do feel is like the main star and the reason why we have like so much curl definition. But instead of the Dew Mousse, I'm going to use my Pattern Beauty Curl Mousse, which is my second favorite mousse ever. I'm hoping that we can get very, very similar results. If we don't, then we know why. Let's get started. I'm literally using my mom's stuff. And this is how you know it's real, y'all, okay? So for a wash and go, products are definitely important, but I feel like technique is like equally as important. The very, very first step to a super nice and defined wash and go that's gonna last you a while is going to be a good deep cleanse. And for a good deep cleanse, I like to make sure that I am detangling on my shampoo step. I did forget my brush, so I am using just one of my mom's wide tooth combs that I found here. And we're still gonna get this job done. I feel like my hair is too long, or I guess I just don't have enough patience right now to just use my fingers. And in case you didn't know, always detangle from the bottom and then up, just like that. And then continue making your way up until the full thing is detangled. If you just start from the top, it's gonna just, you're gonna just have a layer of knots and clumps. You, you don't wanna do that. So I was reminiscing and thinking back to the type of videos I used to create when 
like when I was living in my parents' house still back in 2018. And I kind of want to get back to those style of videos. I feel like I was super informative. And I'm still informative, but I don't know. I feel like I've kind of just gotten a little, I don't know, it could just be me. I just want to kind of re get excited like all over again about hair stuff, geek out about hair stuff, hair products and all that and not just kind of keep doing the same wash and go stuff all the time. I mean, I know you guys love wash and go videos, but just have some more informative stuff back in here. Cause I really used to geek out about ingredients and technique and all that. I think what I lost a little bit along the way, especially with trying to create video content on now three platforms instead of just one, um, I just kind of got overwhelmed and would just get a little frustrated with myself. So yeah, I'm just, Excited to kind of get back into that. Ooh, we got a knot. Also, side note, I'm so sorry if this video looks a little dark. I'm working with what I got, y'all, and I did not travel with my studio lights. Time for conditioner. Let's see how much of my hair this little thing can last us. <laughs> So I will say a good protein treatment, which is what I did last time, is always a great recipe for a nice defined wash and go. That protein just really gets in there. Mm. But because I used protein last time, I don't like to use protein back to back on my washes. So even though I'm still using the Don't Despair Repair line, I'm just using the conditioner version and not the deep conditioner version. Because, fun fact, the regular conditioner doesn't actually have any protein in it. It is still like very repairing and moisturizing, but it doesn't actually have protein in it, which the deep conditioner does. The entire collection is just so bomb. I love that they did the conditioner without the protein, because then you could have this option on the in between. Wait, so have I just been putting way too much conditioner in my hair? <laughs> like, on the regular? Because that little portion was actually the perfect amount to saturate my full head of hair. Wow, I love that for me. Because when I was packing it, I was literally giggling at myself like, who do you think this is going to be for? Because it can't be for us. All right, so as usual, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit while I finish up the rest of my shower. And then we'll be back for styling, babes. Hair feels so good at this point your hair should be feeling really nice and balanced like nice and freshly cleansed but also like moisturized and just nice and prepped and ready for the gym. I'm gonna start by sectioning this is where technique is really gonna come in handy I'm actually gonna turn the shower on and I'm gonna run this section through the water and like comb the water through water literally is my leave-in conditioner <laughs> then i'm gonna grab my rio geo frizz control gel and just start to rake that through like a small section at a time the one thing i love about this gel this is going to put in a lot of the hard work for you it is so curl defining you see those curls clumping already mm -hmm. probably the most curl defining gel i have ever used a lot of other gels kind of just that provide hold and whatnot, yeah, but this is like just actually curl defining and curl clumping is just so good. If I feel like I'm not getting as much juice, then I will just kind of go back in a little bit with my hands and break in some more water. And honestly, go in. I can't tell you how many bottles I've gone through with this gel. I really wish that they would make a jumbo size with a pump. I have literally been asking for that for so long. I'll be so excited for whenever that finally happens. So you wanna make sure everywhere is fully saturated, front and back, side, everywhere, all of the above. And then I like to just kind of smooth it out like that. When in doubt, add a little bit more gel. I always like to hear this little crunch too, mm -hmm. with this gel specifically. I feel like my hair doesn't need to feel this wet and sloppy when I'm just using mousse, but with a good gel, I definitely like to hear my little. Mm -hmm. All right, so then once the gel is done, we're gonna think of the mousse as like a finisher. She's not the main star of the show, but she's gonna finish it, swoop in, and just give us the last bit of oomph that we need. Get a little bit of mousse and literally just gonna smooth it in. Ooh, yeah, it feels so good. You're gonna notice at this point that your hair is probably gonna all be in one clump. So at the mousse step is when I like to just go and separate, and this is where we're getting really detailed now. I'll just go in and separate the curls. While you're separating, you can also take the opportunity 
to smooth the product all the way through. I'm telling you, this is so anal. But if you want your washes to look good and you wanna not have to worry about your hair for the rest of the week, these are the little pieces of effort, extra effort that you're gonna have to put in. These are the separated curls. I'll scrunch them a little bit and boom. I'll even like take a look at the mirror and I'll make sure. This is where you delete all of the frizz. If you see any spot with a little bit of frizz in your root, wherever, now is where you go through and you delete it by just smoothing it through. Like, look at that. Oh, she looks so good. When my hair does this, like behaves like this, and when I learn techniques and find products that's able to help my hair do this, it makes me feel like, okay, maybe it isn't that hard to have long natural hair. Maybe it isn't that stressful. Maybe I can do this. It can be stressful dealing with like super big fluffy hair all the time. So it's fun to do like this little switch up, just a little switch up in technique and product, boom, that's it. And then I can have a different style of hair. Whereas next week, if I wanted to have big fluffy hair, we can do that and just use mousse. You know what I mean? Like, I love that. I love that for us. Scrunch a little bit to encourage as much curl as possible. And that's one section, y'all. I literally just repeat the whole thing until my whole head of hair looks and feels like this. It's worth it. For these results. When it comes to a high curl definition wash, patience is gonna be your virtue. You like, you don't wanna do this wash when you have to rush. I'm not saying your wash has to take all day because this is only gonna take me two hours max and that's only because I'm filming and trying to talk through it at the same time. We could really get this done in an hour and a half, but it just takes a little intention and just making sure that you are getting the curls together. Yeah, so I like how this looks. We just repeat the same sections, section, <laughs> We just repeat the same steps for the rest of our sections and that's it. So hair update though, I am kind of feeling like playing around with color again, y'all. I'm there. I feel like I'm a little bored of the black. I'm just so over winter, so ready for spring and summer and also kind of feeling like I want some more dimension in my hair. I'm gonna pop up a couple of pictures side by side so y'all can let me know in the comments because my aim is to get this video out before I actually do the color. So please comment below. I do value y'all's opinion. Y'all have been my hair squad for like, <laughs> as long as I've been natural. So um, let me know, comment below, which one you think is more of a vibe. I definitely plan, like if I am going to actually go ahead and do this color, I think I'm gonna do it like a lot less than I did last time. Like last time my entire bottom half of my hair was colored. This time I would wanna do something a lot more subtle, more just highlighty. So I do have a couple inspo picks. I just like the idea of just some chocolatey brown pieces throughout my hair. Let me know if you're with the vibe. When I look back at pictures of myself with highlights, I feel like I just look brighter. I look, you know, warmer. I love like the warm tone. Not to say that I haven't been enjoying the black because I do really enjoy the black and I think there's a time and a place and a moment for black. Y'all know me and when I get a feeling like I want to change for my hair, feeling like I just want to switch it up a little bit, do something a little different, like I am gonna do it. My main hesitation is I have been so, so happy with the current like health of my hair. The curls have been curling, okay? They are so, so healthy. And whenever you lighten your hair, there is going to be a little bit of a change. And I don't want there to necessarily be a change just because we have been getting along very well, me and my curls. I think what I'm actually gonna do is, because I looked back at my video and I saw that the last time we colored, Crystal used foil. And I recently saw on Instagram from another stylist saying that foils aren't great for curly hair because it like over processes them a little bit and it could like, that's what creates like the change in your curls and the texture and pattern. So I'm gonna ask Crystal if I really do go forward with it. I'm gonna ask her if we can do the color without foils, even if that means it takes a little bit longer, even if that means the color is gonna be way more subtle. I'm okay with it, cause that's kind of like what I'm going for anyway. I just want some subtle dimension. We'll see, I, I don't know, I hate, I hate telling like a professional how to do something, you know? Cause I'm not no professional, and that's just something I saw on Instagram from a different professional, so I know everybody has their way of doing things, but I'm gonna ask and just see how she feels 
about exploring the option of doing it without foils because I feel like that would make me feel a little bit more comfortable. That's my only hesitation with color. Is it gonna be worth the potential change, you know? The potential damage? I don't know. Maybe, because I'm bored. <laughs> Anyways, here how we're looking, y'all. Healthy, super defined and pop it. I do feel a slight difference from the last time. I feel like I got more hold and a little bit more curl definition. Like I can already see, I can tell cause it's my hair, but I can already see a little bit more volume than I had last time, but I'm not gonna be mad at that. I wanna, I'm curious to kind of see how this dries like after I diffuse and stuff. But like so far I'm feeling like, yes, we have good insane curl definition, but maybe not as much as we got last time, but we'll see, time to diffuse. So even my technique for diffusing is a little bit different when I'm aiming for insane curl definition over volume. When I'm doing volume, I flip my head upside down, all around, and I really like move it all over. For definition, I am literally just gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and that's it. I'm not gonna be flipping my head back and forth. It might mean it'll take a little bit longer to dry, especially since we use gel, but that's fine because we have one goal in this wash and that is insane curl definition that's gonna last us a full week, so. All right, so I diffused until we are I would say maybe 75% dry. Like I just like to diffuse until it stops dripping and I'll just let it continue to air dry the rest of the way, I think, mainly because my arms are tired. We have a little bit more volume. Last time it was straight definition. This is like still high, high curl definition, but with a slight bit more amount of volume, which I think maybe some of you might actually prefer. We'll see. We'll let her to continue to dry and I will keep doing numerous check-ins with y'all so we can see how this hair holds up. Popping in for one more really quick tip for when it comes to drying your hair. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. And this goes for any type of wash. Honestly, if you don't like frizz, when you style your hair, once you've started the drying process, do not touch it until it is fully set and done and dry. You will know that it's fully set and done and dry if it has like a teensy bit of a crunch to it that you can easily kind of fluff out and crunch out maybe the next day. I usually just wait at least at minimum until a full 24 hours before I do any fluffing, shaping or anything. So yeah, huge one. Don't touch your hair. I'm literally gonna do nothing today. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Let it be the way it is. Let it set and- All right, quick update. It is just a few hours later. If the sound sounds a little weird, I took my mic off. So that would be why. We have a crunch. I was a little worried that we weren't gonna actually get a crunch from the pattern mousse, but still the mixture of the two is giving us a really good crunch, which I like because it means we're gonna get some really good hold. We are 100% dry, so I'm probably just gonna kind of fluff it out. I have dinner with the girls today. We don't have any flakes, right? Let me look in the mirror. Nope, no flaking, lots of shine, intense curl definition. We're looking kind of good. It's low-key giving like curly bob vibes, you know what I mean? I wanted to give y'all a really good like natural lighting shot, which is why I'm just talking to y'all from the car. But we love her. I'm very excited about how this wash is coming out. It might just be as good as the other combo as well. So really just gel with a little mousse on top. Might be the vibe. Hey, babe. Hi. He's like, what the <laughs> hell are you doing? Are you talking to yourself? I'm not, I'm talking to the YouTube fam. Can you help me with my bags? Oh, um, my bags. In the back seat. So day one, check in, lit, lit. We love her. I will check back in with y'all tomorrow for day two. All right, y'all, day two check in, and this is how we are looking. <laughs> I have found a new favorite way to do my hair. These are some really, really, really beautiful day two results. I feel like it's actually crazy that I'm standing here in the place where I started my natural hair journey with y'all on YouTube years ago, back in 2018. And now it's been years and years and years and I'm still trying new things and experimenting and finding ways to do my hair in a way that I've never done it before. You know what? I think I've just been on like 
my best hair yet kind of journey ever since I stopped using leave-in conditioners with my wash and goes. And so now introducing a little mixture of gel with some mousse on top because I feel like I've done a gel and mousse mixture before, but I used to do it the other way. I used to put mousse first and then gel on top. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know. The gel first, mousse on top, no leave-in conditioner in the mix is doing something. It's doing exactly what needs to be done. And I... <laughs> It's, I'm loving this so much. It's kind of making me think, well, what if your hair was down here and looked this curly and still be able to like get this much control, this much curl definition, like it would be beautiful. This is the first time in a long time I've actually felt like, holy crap, maybe I really could grow my hair out without it driving me absolutely nuts. The crazy thing is if I ever feel like, mm, I want a little volume today, Next wash, we know exactly what we need to do in order to get there. This wash has just given me some new life. It's, it's, it's very nice, it's very nice. And I can already tell you, based off of my last experience from this wash all of last week, this will last you seven days minimum, minimum, without having to refresh. If you really wanted to stretch it even longer, you absolutely could. Do a little mousse refresh in between and it will be perfectly fine. Like this is a wash and go that is genuinely, I feel like, a little bit life-changing, which sounds so dramatic, but I always say the back of my hair is none of my business, but I'll let it be y'all's business for a second. Y'all can let me know in the comments what you think of how the back of my hair turned out. I just, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Hey y'all, super exciting wash and go and a super fun full circle moment in my parents' bathroom where this entire journey began in the first place a few years ago. Oh, so good. Um, what I'll probably do is just snap a couple pictures of my hair over the next couple of days, even though I know this is already gonna last. I know y'all are probably still a little bit curious to see a couple photos of how it lasts like throughout the next couple of days. And as usual, of course, everything that I used and mentioned is all linked below. Thank you guys for still being here, being patient with me while I figure out my posting schedule. Well, I know what my posting schedule is gonna be. It's really figuring out the time to film and edit and get everything out on time consistently. But thank you for being patient i love you guys so much don't forget to let me know in the comments below about my hair color dilemma and i will then keep y'all updated sometime soon for whenever it happens i love y'all so hard i will catch you right back here same time same place next week for another video bye